Hello everyone, hope y'all are doing well. This is 3D printed animatronic creature. And this is just the uh, overall what we've done and have gotten done so far. And I just wanted to thank everybody once again from our Patreon members and my subscribers to my YouTube channel. But overall, we have the animatronic completed. It is ready for a skin. And with this animatronic, we've done some things so we can make a core. And the core is important so we can make a skin. And as the mouth, the jaw is somewhat open and the teeth are, have a slight space, the, the lips are also somewhat open. So you kind of don't want them closed. And just like a, the eyelid, for instance, it's, it's mid-range open and closed because the skin's going to be flexible enough so we can move it. So now after that, we needed to make a core. The core has been designed. This is the core. This is to block out any of the spaces as you see here in the animatronic. And this core that I have designed here has this base plate underneath it. And all of this is going to be basically one large key when we do the silicone mold because this core is going to have to be inserted into the core after molding but before we do that we need to make a sculpture and the sculpture of the mask or this is the canvas what you can sculpt on to create the creature now the skull shape is basically we just need to keep things kind of thin and not on any too thick and can't be too thin either there's going to be two main pieces right here that we're going to have to print and that's the core and that's the creature sculpture also and it's going to have the same base and the same as you see on the very bottom the key that's going to hold it in place inside the silicone mold and where i'm at now is doing some sculpting work to create this creature and give it some kind of you know uh, an alien creature look somewhat you know i i picture a creature being you know old or whatever but once again i'm just taking my time here because i want to make sure everything is thin enough and thick enough in the right areas but uh i'm kind of giving it um you know it's going to have some wrinkles all over it and kind of because i would think uh, an alien would be kind of an old creature or whatever so i'm just making the sculpture and just using my imagination but yet you know making it you know somewhat like a uh, i want it to be real and then another thing is, is that when we print this we need to make sure some of the wrinkles are kind of deep because sometimes that's taken away from 3d print not, not as much as in resin printing but in fdm printing it does kind of reduce to some of the heavy wrinkles but this is what i got so far and i still have a lot more work to do but as you see here, I even put a belly button, but I put, a, I guess this is a head button on the back of the head. Just thought that would be kind of neat. But once again, I could change this, you know, I could remove it or make it in a different location. But just playing around with some weird concepts. But once again, I just want something really to, I know where my basic boundaries are in this sculpture. And I can't go too thick which would make it where it wouldn't fitting into the mold so but this is what i have so far i made a low poly version so i could demonstrate this onto this core as you see here we're sculpting on the core that way we can keep the thickness correct but we're going to transfer it to its own base and that own base will be as you see here it will be all connected because it's going to be molded it's the main, I guess, the, the main key of this whole project. And I'm building the mold frame. As you see, it's going to be a, a three-part mold, counting it and then the, the front side and the back. And then this will, will have pour spouts so, and vents also, so I can pour silicone to mold this 3D printed sculpture. Now, after this is molded, and then I have the creature scu uh, is sculpted and molded. I will insert the core inside the mold 
where the creature was. As you see here, I'm going to put it inside, pretty much inside the alien sculpture. And when I pour the silicone skin inside this mold and let it do its curing, it will produce a silicone mask for the animatronic and it will fit the animatronic perfect because it's made for it. It's just like a Hollywood makeup when they do a life cast. They make a life cast of the actor and then they turn that person into an old age person or a, or a creature or whatever and it fits that actor correctly. But as you see here, you know, as the core has all the mechanisms in place, like the, the lips and the brow and the eyelids, all that will be attached to the animatronic skin by using types of adhesives. And there's somewhat kind of sockets made into some of the moving mechanisms. But overall, that's where we're at so far. And then I have to print these mold frames when they're ready and put, uh, you know, pour spouts in here to, to when I'm pouring the mold to molding of the creature. But I'm doing these tests and just showing y'all what I'm doing, showing my members of my Patreon that, you know, there's things that we need to make sure that we have enough room for the silicone mold and enough room for the silicone skin. And it's a kind of a technical process, but, you know, it, it's it's got to be really, you know, done right because, you know, one thing is being a starving artist, you don't really want to make mistakes, and you know, and sometimes these some of these materials can be quite expensive, so there's a lot of planning and a, and sometimes it's down to the millimeter or less. But overall, I'm pleased with the results, from. From what I'm seeing, I can go on from here, and I can continue finishing the sculpture, and then I have to connect it to its own base, so then we can start printing the mold and printing the core and the sculpture, so we can mold the sculpture. But look, just a quick update of, of the whole process. Once again, thank you for all my subscribers and my Patreon members. really helps a lot. Uh, thanks for sharing and all the comments. Look, y'all have a wonderful day. Later.